today I read an article online about local video marketing. It was a really good article, but I did have one problem with it. So I read an article that I saw, I think it was on Globe and Mail, it was on Facebook, and it was written by a video production company in Canada. The article was good because it was about businesses using video online and how to go about it. So they talked about the fact that they should put it on YouTube because YouTube is, is busy and lots of people are on there. They talked about putting it on your website because it helps in Google rankings, which is true and they talked about how to optimize the video on YouTube itself. The part that I had a problem with was they kept referring to getting a professional polished video. I understand that the demographic for the Global Mail might be big business, big Canadian business, but there's also a lot of small businesses, I'm sure, reading the Global Mail. I also understand that the company that wrote the article is a big video production company in Canada, so I can see why they would be gearing it towards people that would want a professional polished looking video. The problem is, is that that's untouchable for so many businesses. And even if you did a polished video, making one that's gonna cost you thousands of dollars, which they refer to in the article, could cost you anywhere from a thousand to $10,000, which is true. Who's gonna do two or three of them? It's impossible, it's gonna be so expensive. And it makes businesses think that if they don't have a polished professional video, they can't do video. And that's so untrue. I'm shooting this on my iPhone in my car while I wait for my wife and it's gonna be decent enough quality. Most people care about the content that I'm giving, not about where I'm shooting it, really. It's got good sound, I got a good microphone, which is important. I'm fairly steady with the camera, so it's good enough. And I can do a hundred of these, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, but I'm not gonna spend $10,000, $5,000, $2,000 on professional polished looking video that I can put up online once and then what? You wanna produce video over and over again and be consistent with it, not just one little video. So the article was good, it gets people encouraged to do video, but they faltered in the fact that they only talk about doing a polished video. Nobody cares if your video is polished. Just make videos, grab your iPhone, grab your iPad, grab your DSLR, whatever you have, grab your digital camera, just start taking video and posting it online. The article was good about how to post it on YouTube properly, and that's we cover that in a lot of our videos. Once you get that video, you post it online on YouTube and Facebook and your, your website. That's right, that, they got that, that part right in the article and they did a really good job about uh, what to do when you post your video and I have checklists if you want to know how to do that properly. The biggest thing is just make video. Yeah, sure, you can do a nice polished video if you want, but you gotta do more and more of it. You can't just do one. So don't be afraid of video because you have to make it polished and fancy, you don't. Just make a darn video get it posted online and have fun with it. The next video I have coming is also gonna be in my car video, although I didn't film it today. It was filmed quite a few months ago, I just forgot to post it. And I also have a beard, so hopefully you like, hopefully you like the beard. It's gonna be about my experience when I went into a local business to buy some product. All right, we'll see you in the next one.